What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past TLC and OG vehicles that I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Dinka Blista, the regular one. So this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one. It's currently not on any of the websites. It's only available by stealing it off the street. So it is a free car essentially. Now the Blista name was first introduced in GTA 3 and was actually a minivan, which I find absolutely hilarious. It was also in Liberty City Stories, also was a minivan. And of course the one we have in GTA 5 is a completely different car. They just kind of reuse the name. Now in terms of performance, this car is in the compacts class and used to be the king of that class back in 2013 for racing. But then in 2014 when the Rhapsody and the Panto released, those were the new kings for a while until the Briozo released in 2016. And that one was the king for about four years until the BF Club released in 2020. So unfortunately, the Blista only had the crown for about a year, but at least it still had that going for it, proving that it wasn't a solo car once upgraded. But anyways, in terms of what the Blista is based on, it's primarily based on the third gen Honda Civic Type R hatchback, mixed with the 2009 Volkswagen Scirocco R, and it also takes some inspiration from some other Honda models and hatchbacks as well. Overall, I think it's a great looking little hatchback, especially when it's upgraded with all the optional visual parts, which are pretty cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Blista. Alright, Blista. Okay, we got armor, brakes, bumpers, custom front splitter, nice extension there. Rear bumpers, also an extension. Pretty cool. And it's really clean the way they did it too. It doesn't even look like an added option. It looks like it should be there. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Engine. Exhaust. So you got the stacked exhaust, which kind of fills in that empty space when you put in the extended rear bumper. Very nice. Hood. Vented hood. Super nice option. However, the stock one I think had it more of like a bulge, so then this one looks a bit simpler, but you know, the vent does make it look very aggressive, so definitely gonna do that. Not a bad job. Um, lights, do some xenons, plates, do the black background, and I think I have my plate for this, there we go. Respray, okay, so for this one we're gonna do a nice dark blue. I think that looks great on this car. Dark blue with the ultra blue pearlescent. How well one of these chameleon looks? Manonite blue looks a little weird. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. I think I think we're good with the metallic dark blue with the ultra blue pearl. Uh, Kremlin goes on the hood. Okay. Skirts, nice. Make it all match up. Suspension. We lower it, transmission, turbo, wheels. So for this one, we're going to go to the sport category. We're going to go to the S racer wheels. I think these look phenomenal on this car, um, especially in black. I mean, it just completely changes the look of the car. And I think these wheels fit it very nicely. Um, windows, black them out, and she's done. Not bad. So no spoiler upgrade, um, even though like stock, it kind of has like a little bit of a spoiler there on the hatch a little extension there but um yeah nothing nothing on top of that which would have been nice like it maybe like a bigger one or like an extension but all right exit to ground it's not a bad looking compact car it really isn't it's it's, it's a good looking one for the most part i mean <laughs> you have to like hatchbacks okay rev it sounds like every other normal ai car <laughs> Sounds okay. Interior is like from the, like some of the sedans and coupes in game. Okay. And the interior stitching, primary color, 
Not bad. All right, let's floor it here. That lovely front wheel drive. <laughs> that wheel spin. And this car, you know, it's pretty peppy. It's 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 quick. It's not a it's not a slow car. I mean, after all, it was the fastest OG compact car back in the day for racing. Um, so you know, it's not a slow car, and it's pretty decent to drive for it being a front wheel drive car. Brakes are great. Turn in a little understeer as you would expect from a front wheel drive car, but it drives it drives good. It really does. Yeah, if you ask me which one drives better, the Ballista Compact or the regular Ballista that we're driving now, um, I don't know. I, I I think maybe the Compact drives a little bit better, but this one is still really nice and easy to drive. I mean, you really can't lose control of it. It's like, it's got all that understeer. I mean, it's really hard to look at that. It's just so easy to drive. Very smooth. Very nice. First person. Not bad at all. Alright, let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff here. The Richmond Hotel. Very nice. Okay. Pull up here. Okay. Vehicle doors. Doors. And all. Let's see. Nice. Okay, engine model. Eh, it's not great. <laughs> this is like copied and pasted from the. Uh, what the heck? It's like copied and pasted from a lot of the sedans in game, like the, um, I think the Schwarzer, the Shafter, uh, and then it looks like it's the entire engine model, but it's just cut by the firewall, not cut by the engine model itself. <laughs> That is really, really lazy on Rockstar's part. But it's an OG car, 2013. You really can't expect much. Oh, look at that. The carbon, uh, the mirrors are carbon fiber. I didn't even notice that. What? Does that apply with one of the upgrades, or does that come from stock? I don't even know. That's interesting. Okay. Interior. Little hatch opens up. Not bad. Not bad for I me. Mean, for a little 2013 OG car, it's 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 pretty cool. Um, even though I think, like, if I were to, you know, have a spot in my garage for, you know, an older, uh, normal compact car like this, I think I would definitely have the Ballista Compact instead. But, I mean, this is still a cool one. I mean, if we had unlimited garage space, I, I, oh man, I would put so many <laughs> cool garages together. But this one is not really on my top list, because I think currently we're limited to like 260-ish cars, or 280, something like that. Um, and this is not in my top 300 <laughs> list, unfortunately, but uh, if we get more space in the future, I'd definitely like to have this in my garages. I'd love to have kind of like two compact car garages, I think that would be really cool. Because there's, there's a ton of cars that are in the sports class that are also, you know, compact cars and such, but... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 old do you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.